back to Isles of Murtag. And I just, the little development at the house is two of the fire alarms have started randomly going off. We don't know what they're picking up. Yeah, Brian can smell. I can't. He's not picking up anything with his working nose. Hang on. I think something got in my sock again. Hang on. Clear that out. Because it's been bothering me. I thought it wouldn't continue you to bother me, but for the first time in my entire life, I am wrong. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, the dog is running away like, holy shite, you're wrong, mom? On making a little little adjustment. Okay, we are good. We are good. We are good. We are good. Oh, sorry. Didn't <laughs> mean to do that, but. Woo! 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 Oh, God. Over there! I think I put some mushrooms away. Oh well. Okay. First order of business now is the butters. And also, let's do this, that, and ta da. Sheepy sheepy! Hello my little sheepy! You are amazing! Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise! Oh, yeah. You know, if you've been listening to my streams for a while, you know that this ain't the first time I've had you know, trouble with the fire alarms. I know their use and everything, but personally, they just feel like a y little useless. <laughs> just because it's the only time they go off now is randomly. I mean, before, when Brian cooked breakfast a bunch. His, uh, he had a way of cooking, so we had to open up all the windows so the fire alarms wouldn't go off. I don't like candles or incense. 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 It's honestly so close to incest, at least sounding like it, that... I can get them confused. So that's, you know, fun when that happens. I mean, I like incense and I like incest are really two different things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I've... Let's see, do I have anything... Oh yeah, I have more to talk about the Gen V episode we watched. 
so in the trailers for the season there were these puppets and you know me and my hubby we didn't know what the heck those were so it's like I, I guess we'll find out it won't be like the weirdest thing the show has thrown at us and uh, yeah we found out about the puppets so Sam I guess you could say sort of the plot of the series of at least the season is sees seems to see people a bunch of the time as puppets there's like this big gory fight scene all with puppets it's disturbing because you know you know those aren't puppets game being the F up. And so it eventually cuts to the actual bodies. And that was... Yeah, you got... A, you saw a little bit of the... actual carnage but it was like yeah they did that yeah it was can you please not get in the way of my work thank you Okay, will I get a lovely gift from my lovely cat? Guess not. Let's see. Yeah. It was, it'll be interesting to see more puppets. Oh yeah, for the before each episode, it's like a recap of the previous episode, so everyone's caught up on where to be. And there's a moment like, like last episode where something exploded. I'm keeping this all. Okay, for the little virgin ears listening out there. And it's like, do you have to keep showing that? I saw that scene once. Do not need to see it again. I think it was like an episode two goes. It's like, is he still yelling out Jumanji? Can he still yell out Jumanji? <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll see you later on. Oh yes, I am seeing a sheep there. Oof. <sighs> 
I've been slowly reading Merv Tag, and it's good. Yeah, it feels like I need to reread the series yet again, but I seem to be catching on pretty well what's going on. I guess, you know, the one of the short stories in the short story collection you know, leads to this book. And I remember it a little. It's like, you know, me? I, yeah, I'm just looking for an excuse to have to reread the series yet again. I do have some shrooms. Yes, I know I'm saying that wrong, and no, I do not care. Okay. I don't need to actually eat in peaceful, so there's no need for me to make mushroom soup. However, I can still use bone meal. Bone meal is still useful here. As I was getting the birds ready for bed, I started to think about the naming schemes and this world of mine. Like, you know, before, back in the day, <laughs> before there were really you know, last names as we know them. Let's see. Turning to, like, it's probably more Marvel comics than Norse mythology, but I would have to double check. But anyways, Thor Odinson. Od Thor is the name. Odin. is the father, and since Thor is a dude, son, Thor Odin's son. So I was thinking about that sort of naming scheme for this world. But instead of, you know, familial blood, it would be the village or city. Like Jash Shorm Grove. Although it's something as long to say as Isles of Murtag, I'm thinking that, you know, for something larger, of larger scale, 
you know, what island you were born on, whether you were Jahar or Navi. So it'd be like... Jash... Jahar. And also thinking about people being born in the Nexus. And if that's the case, then it'd be like Jass Nexus. And then things get more complicated because I don't like simple. I'd like to really overthink things. So if someone was born in, say, Shorm Grove, it'd be Jash Shorm Grove. But if someone moved there when they were an adult, it'd be Jash of Shorm Grove. So not only would the naming scheme tell people quickly your name, where you live, and if you were actually born there. You know, really quickly. Get all that information out. Which, you know, as I started think, really thinking about it, it's like, I'm not really putting any, you know, big importance on the fa on idea of family like the village or city is the family maybe because i didn't have that great of a childhood so yeah maybe it's just that i'm like uh, sick of like mother's day Father's Day, uh, which really makes it hard for people who've been abused to get a peace of mind. Because everyone's like, oh, but at least you had a dad, or, you know. That was not the thing to agree with, dude. Don't agree to that shite. <sighs> okay, I might be a little sensitive. Might be a little sensitive. Falling down, eh? Ah, no. I don't want them right next together like that. on where I should plant my trees. Like 
caved into or what? I know, I should be doing something else. I just wanna check out what this got. At least with an easy reach. Nothing too valuable here. So, you know, going back to the Shorm Grove for some materials will still be a must. That might be in another map, though. Oh. Oh, there's stuff here. Valuable shit. Definitely sink it on my end later. Let's go lower to start harvesting. So far in Murtag, Murtag's going, have gone to the city to meet up with, it seems, someone that has information. I don't think it'd be called an informant. I think that would be the wrong term, but... Well, he's waiting up for this dude. And he, yeah, in the meantime, this one girl's talking to Murtag about, you know, something, you know, bad that happened to her. So she's like, I'll just run away and really hits home with Murtag, who, you know, you know, 
basically try oh. try doing the same thing, run away from his problems, and uh, that did not work out well for him. If I, you know, found out he can't. Some, there's some things you can't really run away from. So he... Uh, hang on, let me drink some water. So he... tries to impart that knowledge onto the little girl who's like 9 or 10 or whatever. He does his best to tell her that lesson so that she won't repeat it. And she has this scar on her arm which makes Murtag think that she's been abused by her parents. And he was abused by his parents. Well, his father. And... Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think, you know, the person he's meeting up for is... has been the one abusing this girl and he's used the girl as a way to gain some control over Murtag. Uh, just think of this because, you know, Murtag ain't dumb. He, you know, he's aware that Saros or whoever he's meeting could betray him. Like, that's, like, such a real possibility to him. He doesn't really trust the guy that's giving him information. So he could be using this little girl as a way to... Oh, gosh, I think I missed, uh, one of the reasons that... But Murtag, for some, you know, Murtag's been traveling for so long, always looking over his shoulder. So he's not one that you would easily be able to, you know, sneak up on. And yet, this in, this person is able to. So it just seems, you know, a little bit sus. Okay, did I get a good ear? Yes, I did. You're very good, kitty. Where's the kitty? Get the stong unstuck from my head. <laughs> It'll take over everything.
And when I stopped reading, I saw he, the informant or whatever had just arrived. For some reason, Murtag's like, yeah, this kid will stay here. Because I got nothing to hide from her. And his, like, reason is, but, you know, he seems to act like me will be kinder with this girl around. And what if he is a Murtag? What if he decides to use the girl and kill her? Huh? You're not very smart, is it now? But in Murtag's defense, he's been on the run for so long and he's really connected with this little girl there. Because he, you know, sees himself in her. And he might start to think that if I treat this girl right, you know, maybe I'm not such a monster after all. I think I've s I saw some copper so we can Weather fame. But a lightning rod. Or two. By the by all the coal. That's where I'm remembering it from. Sorry. 
you have anywhere else to go and you're like what if we just threw ourselves into the water life's not worth living down them trees. Don't worry, always more. Murtag is good so far, and you know, I just hope it continues to get better and better. Getting okay, the world of Al Algasia, I think it's pronounced. Can't remember, I, I started with the first book in the series, or read the second, and then I read the first, and then, you know, just sort of been hooked ever since. It's a fantasy world with dragons and magic, and people ride the dragons. Yep, yeah, I'm good. Every one in that part of the game just seemed to be loving life. It's, it was just totally insane. The talk show, talk show, talk show host dudes like, oh. hey, you know. We're going to do the interview, but it's going to be in song. And then it's a big musical number. <laughs> Let's see, do you bring me anything? It's not today. Um. 
looks like one more tree will do it. Very soon we will be focusing mostly just on cherry tree wood. We'll make things a thousand times simpler. Probably. <laughs> I hope. I know, kitty, I know. You want to go back home. We'll return to Shorm Grove one day. It's a journey to get there, you know? Even if we take a quick route, you know. I know. Because in Shoreham Grove, you get to sit around and laze every day, but here, you gotta just move around a little bit. Don't like this one tree? Oh, sorry. Started tearing it down. You know, can't stop believing in all that. I know, I know, that wasn't very funny. Can't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Don't stop, but leave. Okay, I'll shut up. Don't stop, but leave it. Hold on to that feeling. Let's see. to talk about since I'm streaming Minecraft I probably should be doing some streams about the whole trial chambers but I tend not to you know do anything besides peaceful or creative so yeah Not something that really interests me just because I'm probably not going to use it that often. that'll be last. Let's see what things are 
drawer here. Oh, do I have a... Oh yeah, I do have a rabbit. Oh yes, sticks. Let's plant some more cherry trees. You can't eat these, guys. Is sound enough, so maybe things could grow. Spacing, but what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? I never really, you know, watched the show Cops. Just, I never really watched that much TV when I was younger, but... I'm from the time and age where... You would know that song. You know where it was used. Because everyone you know, tended to watch the show. So everyone would know these things. today it's like even if you've never experienced a piece of media do I think you know people call it cultural my meiosis or whatever yeah you just know these things doesn't matter if you care about them or not I think everyone by this point, even if they're not a fan, has a little understanding of, say, Five Nights at Freddy's. Everyone knows Anakin is Darth Vader, except one person, and that was yelled at for quote-unquote spoiling 
Luke, I am your father. I thought everyone knew that. But I was proven wrong. I found the one person in the world who didn't know. Who had somehow managed to save herself from that information. I guess weirder things have happened. Oh, little kitty. Oh, did Kay get something for me? Ah, oh, you love killing wabbits. Ah, oh, you really miss Shorm Grove because of all the wabbits, right, eh? See, we need some stone or something to put these. What are they called? Lightning rods on.
this big lightning storm. Won't be afraid of getting struck by lightning. I know it's not going to break into a rock or anything. Will it? No, it won't. Okay, I think this will work. Okay. Got some lightning rods up in this biatch. Okay. Yep, I'm going to need to close up shop here. Very, very soon. See, I don't always kill. at the moment, but thank you for the offer. <laughs> okay. So this is a good day. Good nice stream. Gonna need to get a little stable outside for him. And let me show you where I do plan to eventually put that. You see that mushroom there? That seems a nice place. I'm sleeping through the night. Ain't that a fancy? Oh, ha ha! Funny. Not 
really. It's not exactly funny. It doesn't just have to go. I'm funny. Ha ha. Laugh. Oh, that's a doggo! I forgot to... There's another doggo. There you go. So, anyways... To everyone who watched this stream, Thank you so much. You and viewers like you are what keeps me streaming day after day, night after night, etc. after etc. after etc. And if you would like to contact me outside of Twitch and or help support me, links in the about section. Let's see. And I can distract. You can distract. And now to the part everyone really cares about. Let me go into Twitter. Getting distracted. I replied to someone about the horrible third hostel movie. And they like the tweet. Yay! Somebody knows me. Ha ha! Okay. And now we're going to do what I actually came here to do. Search the hashtag Twitch streamers. Go to the latest. And find someone. And... Not English. Well, I didn't know if that was an ad or a commission, but commission. An ad. I can't really understand that, so I'm just going to assume not English. Not English. So I found someone to raid, but the the only reply there is someone going, Hey, I me and my friends are helping out small streamers, so follow this totally not BS link. So that's good. <laughs> Some things will never change. Go. This person is playing Fortnite. Let's see if I can raid their channel. And I can't, so you know, if you like Fortnite, check them out. And I'm going to go and work on my Dune House Carino review as well as watch YouTube videos and probably snack. And until tomorrow, good night.